Thanks for stopping by to check out my new video. This is my build of the Oakley Sound Super Ladder Filter. This is from a version 3 PCB as assembled by Tony Allgood. I have formatted it here in the MOTM format. It is a three space panel and I've built it out with all of the available options. This is a, a diode ladder filter similar to the Roland 3B, TB303 uh, although it is capable of 24 decibel filtering. Let's go ahead and turn the volume up here and hear the square wave sequence I have going. This is from a Frostwave FAT controller, and you can hear there's some slide going on. So we've got a very nice low-pass filtering here. We'll cycle through all the different modes through the demo here. Let's go ahead and switch this over a little bit to uh, bring in an envelope on the exponential CV control here. Switch my envelope up a little bit, change the attack setting here. Gives it that pulse at the end of the sequence. This is one of the interesting characteristics of the diode ladder filter. This fluttery resonance tone, which is commonly associated with the 303. version of this really allows you to get creative with the frequency. Let's switch this over to a sawtooth wave on the oscillator. A lot of people built the Zox box from Lady Ada and one of the transistors you have to find is uh, the cause of this chirping resonant sound. It's the SA733P, I believe. But uh, here in the Oakley filter, there is none of those transistors in here, and you get very good glassy, chirpy resonant sounds. Let's go down another neat mode of this Oakley filter is there is actually a variable filter slope. As you can see, I have the various jack plugged in, but there's also one and four pole filters. The various jack gives you both of those dependent upon this pod setting here. Right in the middle is band pass filtering. So let's go through the frequency here a little bit and hear that. Diode ladder band pass filtering. Not something you're going to find every day. Although pretty interesting, what I find the greatest mode of this is actually the one pole filter, six decibels. And you can get really gritty with the one pole filter on the Oakley Super Ladder. Again, this is the version 3 PCB. Now that sounds like a 303. This really presents the user with a lot of flexibility because short of doing the TB303 sound, you can do a very effective, just typical low-pass filtering sounds, very warm, uh, excellent resonance as, as demonstrated in the first part of this demo. But if you're looking to emulate a, th a 303, I tend to use the one-pole filter myself. And uh, here, here, this uh, is pretty effective. Slow down the sequence here and you chirp it really. It's really happening. No.
I've tried to get this to happen on other filters and haven't been able to get the chirpiness to happen like you can do with a diode ladder. It's not only possible with this Oakley filter, although this filter is the best of the diode ladder filters that I have for the chirpiness. This is the Oakley Sound Super Ladder Filter version 3 PCB. Uh, I believe Tony at uh, Oakley Sound is up to maybe version 4, version 5. He has a whole new PCB out there, and I'm not even sure if you can do the diode ladder with it. So if you have to find one of these used on the market, I recommend you do so. Uh, it's a great addition to a modular setup. There's no need to build a Zox box as long as you get a sequencer that's got slide and uh, a way to simulate accent, which I'm doing here with this second gate out of the Frostwave FAT controller to an additional envelope generator uh, feeding the, the filter. Thanks again for stopping by. For more information on my modules, check out worldwideweb.naturalrhythmmusic.com. <laughs>